Hello everybody, I'm Dada, I'm a music producer and audio engineer and I use Tronas for my business quite extensively for a couple of years now and I wanted to share one solution which enabled me to change the VDF layout of my application pool without reinstalling any apps or uh, any reconfiguration it's pretty much just plug and play I'll really quickly talk you through what we will be doing. We will leverage the power of ZFS, in particular ZFS snapshots and replication to backup your pool and recreate it with new drives and a completely new layout. So you can add VDEVs or you can change the layout of your VDEVs. All right, we'll be doing this in the CLI, in the shell. And for this, you need to be logged in as root. If you didn't do this already, uh, well, where it is under credentials, you will have to create a password for your root user account. Here, here, then you just click save. Then you want to log out and log in as root. All right, so we're going to the shell and I just want to really quickly show you um, my layout. So I have my applications pool here and I have my main pool here with some music and here in the applications pool we have Navidrome installed. I will start it real quick and uh, just show you something. So in the favorites list we have this single and this single only. Under all we have an album and a single. So just to verify that the data has been ported properly I will show you this later. All right, right now we want to stop all applications here in my case quite easy it's just one and you want to do the same with uh, virtual machines if you have any running on the pool that will be replacing then you're going to system and shell so we are ready for the first step which is to create a recursive snapshot of your pool that you want to port recursive meaning it includes all subdirectories and every every data inside of those directories. So for this you want to type zfs opa, snapshot minus r for recursive apps because that's the name of the pool that we want to snapshot at. And then you have free choice how you want to call your snapshot. I will do pre-mirror Okay, when you're doing ZFS commands, you don't need to do the mount in front of the um, pool name. So this would be wrong. In this case, it wouldn't work. ZFS commands, uh, just plain. Um, file type, sorry, file system commands like uh, ls or cp are with the mount in front. All right, I will press enter here. And the snapshot is already created. So now I would recommend to verify it. Zfs list minus t snapshot. Oh, hey. Very important to write this properly. Snapshot minus r apps and then we'll take a look. Here we can see all the data referenced by the snapshot and most importantly the hidden files are referenced. Here all of your docker images and configurations are stored. The next step is to replicate the snapshots to a pool you already have. You can also do this over the network, like if you have a friend with a lot of storage. <laughs> that's, uh, that's me most of the time. But we'll be doing it locally today. So for this we'll do zfs send minus v for verbose output, so you can see what's happening, minus r, um, apps at 
premiere we called it then a destination zfs receive minus v main pool that's how our pool is called and we don't want to just um send all of this data onto the main pool we want to have a separate data set for this and it will be called apps backup in my case and no no trailing slash here so just like this press enter and the backup is done so now let's take a look in here and as you can see it has the same structure so apps backup is pretty much our pool apps and it's owned by root so permissions uh yeah took over to this data set here we can see uh that's our snapshot all right so now we're almost ready to create a new pool and um, we want to replace this apps pool that we have currently without uh, the need of any reconfiguration or reinstalls so the new pool should have the same name apps in our case to be able to do this we have to export this pool we'll go to storage and we will go to export here very important delete saved configuration from tunas if you will read here um, may include services applications stuff like this so this we want to uncheck we want to confirm the export exporting so this is like uh, uh, ejecting a usb stick pretty much this is done and then we want to create a new pool those uh, warnings that pop up here it's because i'm using a virtual machine mm. I'll press allow here. Okay, layout. Uh, so before we had a single, single drive stripe, and now we'll do mirror with two disks. Right, we're going from two disks, from one disk to two disks. Sorry. Review. Mirror two times. Yeah. Confirm. Perfect. And now, as you can see, um, apps is completely empty. So we have zero gigs here and applications are not running. Of course, there is no data. So we have to go back to the CLI. Now we want to restore from our backup. So we're going ZFS send minus V minus R main pool slash apps slash oh, back up at pre mirror then the destination cfs receive v serve force yeah you don't need this force because there's no data on it so Oh, I messed up here. All right, so we successfully re restored from our backup. And uh, I can show you that applications are still not running. So what I would recommend to do is to reboot. You can do it here or you can do it uh, just here. Let's do... I don't know. Hardware change. Sure. A few moments later. And we're back. So let's log in as admin. Alright. And let's see how our apps look like. Yeah, exactly as we left it. So just to show you here, now it's uh, too wide mirrored vdef so yeah 
our old uh, pool is here. Apps. We will not be importing this. So I would for sure verify that all of your applications are working and running and all the data is how it should be. So for example, we put this single into the favorites, right? And it's still here. Just a quick disclaimer, uh, you have to be extremely cautious when doing this. This video is purely for entertainment purposes only and I'm not liable for any damages or loss of data. Feel free to write a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.